Today I'm going to show you how to create composites in Photoshop. Hi there, welcome to this training. My name is Emax from Pure Dreams Works. If you've been looking to learn how to create composites in Photoshop, guess what? Today is your lucky day because I'm going to show you how to achieve that from start to finish. So let's get right into it. We'll be using this image of our beautiful model from the photo shoot I did a while ago. So to start off, I like to duplicate my background layer. So you hit Command J on your keyboard to duplicate your background layer so you can preserve the original image. So the next step is to make our selection. And Photoshop has actually made selection easy by introducing the Select Subject feature and the Select and Mask feature. So for the purpose of this training, I would use the Select and Mask feature. So let's start off by hiding this layer and you hit Select and Mask. Next step is to hit Select Subject and wait for it to finish the selection. To see what the selection is looking like, come all the way to View and select On Layer. So this Photoshop has already done the selection and masked out the original background. So it's looking pretty good, so we can hit OK. So this is what our selection is looking like. If you zoom in, you would notice that it's a pretty decent selection. I think we are fine, we can work with this. So the next step is to place the new background. So this is the background we'll be using. You click your move tool and you drag here. And now you have to scale the background so it's proportional to the image. So to do that, you hit your command T and you scale. I think we can work with this. So the next step is to start blending the color of our image to match that of the background. So to start with, I like to introduce the solid color adjustment layer. You click OK and you change the blend mode to color dodge. You double click on the solid color fill layer. Now we'll be selecting a color that matches that of the scene, that of the background we're using. So I'll come somewhere in between the red and the yellow and we pick this let's see if it works so you hit ok if you look closely you notice that the effect is affecting both the image and the background now we don't want it to affect the background we only want it to affect the image so to fix this you hit option on your keyboard place your mouse in between the solid color adjustment layer and the layer of your image and you click so you can clip the solid color adjustment layer to the image so now we've gotten our desired result, but we still have to tweak it some more to blend it to the background. So we reduce the opacity to somewhere around 31. Now it's still not looking, it's a bit close, but we can still tweak it a bit further to see if we can get a perfect match. So you double click on the solid color field layer again. Let's select a color that matches more accurately so i would go with this i think this is good so you hit ok and reduce the opacity a bit more now this is much better so the next step is to add some highlight to the edges of the image so to do that you create a new layer and you change the blend mode to overlay so we head over to the color picker to pick the color we'll be brushing over the image. So we we'll work with this, hit OK. Don't forget to clip this layer also to the image because we don't want this effect to affect the background. We only want it to affect the image. So to do that, you drag it down here. You'll notice it's clipped already. So let's zoom in to start brushing. The purpose of this is to create highlights caused by the sunlight coming from behind her. So let's uh, select our brush tool. Make sure your opacity is set to the barest minimum, um, somewhere around 26. So let's 
brush over the edges So this is what it's looking like after adding the highlights. So this is before and after, before and after. So the next step is to blend our feet to the background. To start with, I would create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. So let's reduce the brightness. So the reason why we're doing this, you would notice that the feet is brighter than the, the floor of the background right so to do that let's reduce the brightness to match that of the background so i've reduced the brightness of the image now we only want this to affect our legs so you select your brush tool switch your foreground color to black take your opacity to 100 and brush over this area now it's looking good so let's see before and after before, after, before, after. So the next step is to create a new layer. Select your brush tool, change your foreground color to black. Make sure your opacity is set to 100. So we'll brush over the bottom part of the image, brush in black and change your, you change your blend mode to overlay and you reduce your opacity you are satisfied with the result so the purpose of this is to blend her feet to the background so her feet is gradually blending into the background so let's hit command t to adjust this so let's take it a bit higher i'm happy with this and i would like to reduce your opacity a bit more let's see what it looks like okay so I think this works, we will leave it at 27. So let's create yet another layer and this layer we are going to clip it to the image itself. So you create a new layer, you notice that it's been clipped, you change your opacity to overlay, sorry you change your blend mode to overlay. So let's zoom in and brush over her legs, so we are trying to create shadows in these areas. So you brush slightly and make sure your opacity is set to the barest minimum like 25, 26, 27, whichever one works for you. So I like how it's looking so far, um, I think I will just reduce the opacity of this layer, it's looking a bit too dark, so I just slightly reduce the opacity to brighten it a bit more. So the next step is to create shadow, so I would duplicate this layer and delete this mask click apply so now we've duplicated the layer you hit command T to transform since the Sun is coming from the back the shadow is going to be in front of her so you drag this down here and you hit enter then you hit command U on your keyboard to show your hue and saturation, you drag this lightness slider all the way to the end to turn it to black. So click your layer mask button, make sure your brush tool is selected and brush over her hand. So go over to filter, blur, 
Gaussian blur and slightly blur the shadow and that's it so next step I'm going to reduce the opacity to about about 40 48 50 I think this is fine let's take it down a bit more somewhere around 45 I think this is good so the next step is to add the levels adjustment layer to do a little bit of color grading and make the image pop so come here and select the levels adjustment layer select the reds and come all the way down and drag the slider so let's drag it all the way to the end and see what it looks like okay no this is not what we're trying to achieve so let's take it down to somewhere around 11. so we'll select the blues and see what blue looks like drag the slider no so let's go back somewhere around six um, six is a bit too much so let's do four then you select the rgb and drag this slider to somewhere around four. Okay, so this is looking good. This is before and after. I think I'll come back to the reds. We have too much red in the shadow area. So I'll take the red slider back to about six. So we'll leave it there. So there you have it. This is the final image. If you love this training, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel to keep receiving amazing tutorials from us. So I'll see you in the next training.